Eureka family was left devastated after their home burned down over the weekend. The North State's News' Rudy Aguado spoke to a family member about their road to recovery. I'm here on Burl Street in Eureka, where a family is recovering after losing their family home in a house fire. Just devastated. I mean, this was our family home that we all grew up in for the last 50 years. Daniel Yates was at work when he learned that his grandmother's home caught fire. The home has been his family since the 70s. Yates saying they will recover despite this loss. My family has been through tremendous feats in life, so this is just another step, and everything we go through, just whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger, and we just, we just keep pushing. Yates' grandmother was in the home when the fire broke out. She was saved by a couple of community members who were nearby. When I got there, this, this, this girl was yelling for help, and so I grabbed her kid that she had out the window, and then uh, she got out and told me that her grandma was in there. And then so we, uh, she opened the door, and then uh, I couldn't make it in there because I started choking. But my friend Jordan Schaefer, she made it in there and got her in her wheelchair. She suffered severe smoke inhalation, but Yates says she is now out of the hospital and in good health. Everybody is safe and the home is destroyed, but the family lost furniture, appliances, clothes, baby pictures, and other family keepsakes. My family is a very proud family. They didn't want to ask for any help. They didn't even want to do a GoFundMe, but um, I, I did it because I figured if we do need it, it's there. And if we don't, then we can help other families that do need it. Officials say the cause of the fire is still under investigation. In Eureka, Rudy Aguado, The North States News. The link to the GoFundMe can be found on our website, krcrtv.com.